Well, everybody, today I've got a special guest on the line today. His name's Annie Iskander. Iskander, and uh, he's just actually sent me an email through from my Mass Outsource and just thanked me very much for being able to allow him to access the videos, uh, the free videos that I give away and be able to achieve great successes with it. So he was well, having a chat and I said, hey, Andy, would you like to come onto a call and uh, share your successes and also talk about how the outsourcing, my mass outsource system was able to benefit you and also share with the audience what you've been able to accomplish with it. So maybe let's just talk a little bit more about, uh, I should probably welcome Andy first. So, hi, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, first thing maybe just uh, getting straight into is to find out what what kind of business do you run and just tell tell the audience a little bit more about yourself so that they know who you are. Okay, uh, I have uh, two sides to my business. The uh, One side is affiliate marketing and the other side is uh, local SEO. So uh, most of uh, when I started with outsourcing, I started more for the my affiliate marketing site. So I have a lot of affiliate sites out there, marketing a lot of different uh, you know niche niche products, mostly info products. You know, just uh, the normal you know in affiliate marketing sites. And then uh, local SEO is uh, I do local SEO services for local businesses. You know, uh, getting them ranked for local keywords. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. So I got started. Your other question was how I got started. Uh, I think it's quite normal in terms of the, the you know internet marketing niche where you know we, we go online. Actually, it's very interesting because when I got started, uh, I it, I got started on internet marketing through a scam. <laughs> I think a lot of people, I think a lot of people got to that. I think it was uh, I saw an ad about posting classified ad, make money through posting classified ads online. Basically, it was you know the Google AdWords thing. It was three years back. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I just bought the the, the ebook and I went through the the stuff and it's like, basically it's just it was crap. <laughs> it was just it was just you know they just told us to open up an AdWords account. They gave us you know template uh, uh, ads to, to to put up and then you know it, it's just cut and paste. But you know you, you know how these things go. Yeah, <laughs> so there, it, a lot of times there's a lot of rubbish out there. I mean, I'm being honest with you. There's a lot of rubbish. They tell you this, tell you that. You're supposed to get yeah. rich quick schemes, and it just doesn't work. So, I think <laughs> as you've learned so from experience, it takes time. <laughs> yeah. So that was my start. So from there, I got you know exposed to more products, and you know that I saw more people doing it. So I, I there has got there has got to be some truth to it. Mm. So you know. Through you know a lot of <laughs> cutting through all the rubbish online, so I managed over the over the past two years, you know, I managed to sort of uh, focus myself, and uh, so I set it on on uh, you know affiliate affiliate marketing and and uh, local SEO Excellent. to cut the sto long story short. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great then. So uh, over that period of time, probably in the last probably six months, because we're having a chat before this as well too. You mentioned you came across my stuff. So, when you came across my mass outsource uh, system that you had there, what interested you or got you inclined to take action? Because a lot of people view these videos, they go, yeah, this is great, you know, they've got all the good information there, but don't do anything at the end of the day. Yeah. And you, you, you're probably a, a, a very small percentage to actually take the action, which is something I commend you and also congr congratulate you on as well too. What was it that inspired you to, to do all that and, and get you out there to look for people? Well, because it it you okay. First of all, you just make it you you made it very easy because, uh, I mean I've been on other other people's lists where you know they talk about outsourcing and 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 you know they give out free material, but no one has ever made it structured in the way you know your free videos, the way that you made it, you know step one video one step one step two step three and you know send this out and do this and do that. So your free material was itself by by itself you know a a basic outsourcing course. And he made it very easy. So it's like when I wa I went when I watched through all the videos, and I was like, like this is so easy. It's like simple. If it, if if it <laughs> if it works as <laughs> if it works as well as you made it out to be, then I have nothing to lose just by just trying it out. So I just tried it out, and I got my first article writer. Fantastic. You know, I I I made a, I made a few tweaks to your process, but you know, but basically it's your your videos that got me started. Excellent. Yeah, that's, it's interesting and I think anyone who takes on the information will definitely add more to it and I know that my, my system is just a simple step-by-step -step system just to get you started but obviously when you get into really 
doing the more nitty gritty stuff, you'd have to customize it to suit your particular needs for your business. So that's that, that's really good and that's really excellent. And now you mentioned that you've hired your article writer as well. What else have you done with with the outsourcing material, and also what have you accomplished within your business with all this too? Okay, uh, I'll, I'll give you in terms of timeline. Yeah. Yep. Uh, immediately when when I got your material, I I got I hired a article writer because that was the first thing I wanted to get off my plate. Article writing for you know writing content for my affiliate <laughs> sites. Because you know, writing, it's I, I, I just don't have the, I, just, I just don't have the, the patience for it. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm gonna put my hand up for that too. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's the first thing that I did. I got an article writer, and then uh, that was within a month, or maybe slightly over a month, because I the, the, the day I, I watch all your videos in one day, and <laughs> I immediately sent out. Uh, you know, I went to bestjobs.ph yep. from the through the through the site that you gave us and I immediately sent out emails and within a month, I've, slightly over a month, I got my first uh, article writer. So immediately, uh, I started working with her and uh, she's based in, in, in Manila, by the way, and she got uh, me, she got, she got up quite quickly because she was already a writer. So she, I didn't have to do much training. So I just give her, uh, I want, you know, just in terms of SEO writing, you know, keywords in the title and some keywords in the text. So within a week, she's, you know, uh, she was writing a lot of content for me. And within a month of hiring her, I managed to get back two hours of my time every day or working. Instead of writing, I, I get to work on strategic stuff Fantastic. on my business. And my income from my affiliate sites went up from about two to three thousand US dollars a month to to about fifty percent. I think about four to four thousand to five thousand a month. Fantastic. Within uh, yeah, that 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 is, I definitely I can attribute attribute that to getting more time because of hiring her. It's really interesting because when you correlate that, obviously you can't do everything in your business, and once you've got someone else in your business to be able to do the stuff, it, it greatly increases your time. Therefore, uh -huh. you can do so much more, and it, it's fantastic just to see a testimonial from yourself that it's worked tremendously well for you. And I know that it's going to probably do gun ho a lot in the future because if you hire more of those article writers, I know that you're going to be able to increase much much faster too. Oh yeah, yeah, Trem tremendously well is an understatement. <laughs> I know, it's, a, it's a great job and I commend you for that because a lot of people, as I said, don't take any action and for anyone listening to this call, Andy's a, a great testimonial just to take on some information that I provide for free and if you can just do that, I'm, I'm really, really happy that it's helped somewhere like yourself and hopefully help a lot of other people too. So yeah, that, that's excellent. And any other things that you've learned from once you first outsourced to the Philippines, as you mentioned, you've outsourced to Miller and you found someone doing article marketing or article writing mm -hmm. for you. Any any yeah. sort of downfalls or anything you've experienced from that as well too? Uh, basically, it's just uh, you have to... Okay, I don't know whether I got this from you or from, uh, from John Jonas, but uh, you have to make sure that you have a daily reporting uh, regiment. Yep. So, yeah, because they most of these people... Like, or at least for me, my article writer, she was working in an office setting. So when I hired her, she 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 quit her job and then uh, she worked for me full time. So uh, so she became a home based uh, person. So it's a very different environment for her. So uh, in order to have that kind of uh, discipline, you have to you know sort of I I made sure that she reported to me every day in terms of uh, what. She did, like, you know, from 8 to 5. At first, I set a time, 8 to 5 or 9 to 6, right? Uh, but then, after that, I, I can see that she, you know, she could, got, she, she could go along without my hands-on supervision. So, Definitely. I allowed her to have, to have her own, you know, time. She, you know, she, she wants to work from 4 to 11 or up to her, you know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but in the first place, I just, you know, set some ground rules in terms of uh, uh, reporting. Excellent. It's interesting, yeah. I, I think that's the main thing. A lot of people, when they first start out with outsourcing their work, you spend a lot of time training with them, which is normal because you have to be able to teach them what is happening in your business and your systems and so forth. But as soon mm -hmm. as the people get really good at it, uh, you're particularly the virtual staff that you hire, they become really, really good at the task. 
then usually you give them a hands-off approach and as long as they complete the work on time, you let them do it in their own time because that's when they perform at their best. And I mean, that's what happens in my business as well too. So a, yeah. lot, a lot of times I don't even really look at what they're doing. I, I trust them yeah, because yeah. They, they've been working with me for that time. As long as they complete the tasks on time, I've got nothing to complain. It gives me the flexibility yeah, right. to go and do the things I want to do too. So. Yeah, right now I, I just go like sometimes, uh, you know, two weeks without even checking in on her. So I just go into my, uh, what do you call that, uh, project management uh, system, yep. software and a system and I just, oh, okay, she did all the work every day, every day. Okay, I'm happy. As long as I get articles coming in, I'm happy. And, and you know, the articles are, you know, are as well or if not better written than, you know, English speaking writers. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, I another thing that... Yeah, yeah. Sorry, no, no just it. another thing that I wanted to point out is uh, the the internet service and the power outages in 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 in, in Philippines because it's bound to happen. Mm. Even in Manila, it's bound to happen. You know, the so, so just you know, so that people viewing this video will you know, are prepared, you know, to, to 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 expect that like they won't. Sometimes the the internet service is not that reliable, so it's it, they be out, and then sometimes even they have power outages, so they can't do the work for you. So, you know, you have to be prepared for that. But even then, they are very, very nice about it because they, 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 they will just get back to you. I, I, you know, they will make it up to you. you know, they will just, they will like, okay, I'll work on Sunday, you know, for you and, and, and to make up for the time. Absolutely. And that's you know, what I love yeah. about their culture is that they are so, so loyal and they're so trustworthy because if they don't do the work online, they can do it on their own computer and once they're finished, they'll submit it a few days later and say, yeah, I did it while I was off time. <laughs> and that, that, that's yeah. the beauty of what they do and they're so, so, like, they, we reward them well and we look after them. That's the most important thing that we need to do if they're going to do these good things for us. So, it's it's all a reciprocal and also, yeah, back and forth to, to be able to see Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. What are your plans anyway for for the upcoming or yeah up until the end of this year? I'd say. Are, are you having you got any more intentions to uh, outsource or hiring more virtual staff? Oh yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 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 on track to to completely automate my you know my my affiliate marketing site. Because right now I do spend a bit of time every day to monitor it, but I'm I want to completely outsource that part of my income. Fantastic. So, uh, I have, uh, a few months after I hired my article writer, I, I hired a VA, general VA to, you know, to, to do all sorts of stuff like uh, link building, and opening social media accounts and things like that. So, uh, at the moment, I have, uh, I have one article writer and one VA and another one VA but she's part-time. So, uh, they do all my opening of accounts and, and setting up of websites and, and things like that. And uh, I plan, within the next few months, I plan to hire a, a manager. So this will be a bigger bigger hire then, you know, to, to manage these people. Mm. You know, so, so this manager will help me manage my affiliate marketing uh, business. Excellent. So that I don't even I don't even have to go into it. Just that, that's like, right. you know, I just refer to her and say, how much am I making? Oh, okay, good. Keep it up. <laughs> I love that and, and, and I know you'll get there, definitely get there because if you've already hired the first article writer, then the next hires are going to be very, very easy to you and now once you, once you get to that stage, uh, call back into me and we'll, we'll have another chat and share your story there so it'll be great to hear and then we'll hopefully yeah. see you come over here and, and you know travel, do a bit of holiday with me too. <laughs> yeah, same here when you come, when, when you come here though. Yeah, it'll be great. I, I, you're in Singapore, right? Yeah. Yeah. Next time I come past Singapore, I have to come over and visit you then, so it'll be good. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I want to finish up as well to just one last question I've got for you is any advice you want to share with people listening to this call, watching this as well, is what what can they learn from your experience? Oh, okay. One more thing that I, I think is important is uh, when you go contact the potential candidates on uh, uh, best uh, online jobs or bestjobs.ph, you have to have a screening process because that's what I did for my articles because I think if I hadn't have a sort of a screening process, I think I would have gotten less than desirable, you know, employees. Because what I did was, uh, I, I think I emailed, I went through a lot of resumes on the website and I sent out, uh, I think about 30 over emails to, 
to 30, 30 over you know uh, likely candidates. Mm. And from those 30 over, I the first screening step is already the how fast they reply because if if they reply within 24 hours, I think then it tells me that they are they really want this. You know, if they you know if they reply like uh, you know a few days later, I I. I I do not even accept them, even even if they are qualified, because I want to have like you know really eager people. That's right. Because yeah, for me the attitude is is is, is, is important. And then uh, the next step was I gave them okay. So within that twenty four hours, I had a few replies. So then these people, I I I narrowed it down further by giving them uh, sample articles to rewrite, not not write original articles to make it a bit easier. Just get them. You know PLR articles to rewrite, so I give them each two PLR articles, the same article, so just you know see I can see compare the the standard of writing. So I give each of them I give them two the same two PLR articles to rewrite, and then depending on how fast they do the job, that's again that's uh, my one of my screening steps. So uh, the person that I hired, she did it within eight hours. She was the only one who got back to me within eight hours. It's like. She was really, really eager. She really wanted it. <laughs> so, it's, so it's like, you know. So uh, then after that, I just spoke to a few of them on the phone and I, met, I ended up hiring the person who got back to me with the rewritten articles with, you know, within eight hours. Eight it was hours, amazing. Yeah. Hey, that's, that's really good. That's a good, good advice and good tip. So for anyone uh, looking for people, look for eager beaver people <laughs> because they're the ones who will work really, really hard in your business. And I, I can actually agree with you on this one because that's what has happened in my business. My first virtual assistant that I hired responded back within probably about 10 minutes <laughs> on my email. I was astounded. Yeah. So they're they very, very good and since then that she's been with me. So they're very, very um, on the ball and also very eager to work and it's really good to know all about that too. So yeah, thanks very much for that advice. It's really good. Good tip there. Well, yep. thanks so much for coming onto the call today, Andy. I really, really appreciate uh, taking some time out to be able to do this little interview with you and also share your experiences and I do wish you all the best for everything that you're going to do in the future and we'll hopefully catch up with you soon as well in the next time. Oh, I, I, I wish you all the best for you too. Thank you. You're in the middle of your launch now, yeah. I am. All the best. So, I, I, I owe you at least this much, you know, this, this interview. I owe you at least this much for the, for the free stuff you gave you gave out. I mean, you know. No, you're welcome. <laughs> I, I hope that does help people and it's obviously helped you so I'm very, very glad. So thank you again. Yeah, no problems. My pleasure.